Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me introduce myself. My name is Trisna Yusvila Kolbi and I am from SMA Muhammadiyah 10 GKB Gersik. Rabbi srohli sadri wa yassirli amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli amma ba'du. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always give us all salvation and blessings. Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we are still given health fever to do our activity. And do not forget salawat and salam to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who has guided us from the darkness to the brightness. Before I start my speech, I would like to thanks to the judges for giving me this very special opportunity to compete in the Fagi Usman Festival 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, as a student, writing, learning, reading, all requires thinking. Thinking characterizes humans. Due to the ability to think, humans become creatures that are glorified by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then, what exactly thinking is? The word thinking means the power that penetrates an object are resulting in knowledge. One of the branch of knowledge is critical thinking. So, I'm standing in front of you all here to talk about critical thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, why is critical thinking important? Yeah, that's a good question. The decisions that you make affect your quality of life. And if you want to ensure that you live your best, most successful and happy life, you are going to want to make conscious choices. The point that critical thinking is important for us as a student is because critical thinking can affect our language ability. It also promotes our creativity and it is important for our self-reflection too. Firstly, I wanted to take a look at Surah Ali Imran, verse 190 to 191. <inaudible> Indeed, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the alternation of the night and the day are signs for those of understanding. Who remember Allah while standing, sitting, or lying on their side and give talk to the creation of the heavens and the earth, saying, Our Lord, you did not quit this aimlessly. Exalted are you. Then protect us from the punishment of the fire. So many signs of Allah's greatness spread across the heavens and the earth. The creation of the universe, the alternation of the night and the day, the regularity of the path of celestial objects, the wine swirls, and so much more. All of this should be used as a means of thinking for humans, especially faithful people. Do not just make all these events as an ordinary event, but we must think, we must examine, and we must take all the benefits. And all these benefits can only be understood by Ulil Alba. Remember Surah Ali Imran verse 190? Ulil Albab is a person who has straight mind, has a clear conscience, as it, and is a servant who always think about everything created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. However, in the hadith that was narrated by Abu Shaykh, an Abi Darrin radiyallahu anhu qala, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Tafakkaru fi khalqillah Wa la tafakkaru fi dhatillah Tafahliku Think about everything created by Allah But do not think about the essence of Allah And so you will break Ladies and gentlemen Knowledge is fast But thinking has boundaries Not as free as possible In the process of thinking The object is only about the creators, universe, including ourselves. We should not think beyond the capacity of mind, 
which is the essence of God, because human mind and human potential will not be able to reach it. They are will be confused and cause chaos in their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, as a member of school organization called IPM, I feel that critical thinking and knowledge are important because it can help us to improve our productivity, creativity, to improve our performance, and bring up new ideas that can give a positive impact into our organization. Ladies and gentlemen, do you remember first verse that Allah had revealed? Ikra bismirabbika alladhi khalaq. Surah Al-Alaq, first one, tells us that Allah command us to read. Reading Researching and demanding knowledge must be granted in the name of Allah, so that there is a harmony between the science seeker and the giver of science. The outcome will certainly bring goodness, make us an ulil above person, and prevent us from knowledge that causes distraction. That's all my speech. May be useful. Thank you very much for your attention. The last I say, Nun wal kolami wa ma yasturun. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.